YouTube, what's going on? Witty P coming back with another one. Let's get it. You know, I can't stop. Let's keep it going, keep it rolling. Today, I got a good video. I got a fun video to start off the week. I'm gonna talk about the importance of being alone. Yeah, a lot of us don't realize this, but being alone, we actually get to find out what we're truly capable of. We actually get to find out what we're passionate about. And we actually get to find out who's truly in our corner, you know, when we're being alone. And we must realize there's a difference between being lonely and being a loner. When you're lonely, you actually want friends and you want people around you. But when you're a loner, you choose to ride solo, you choose to do your own thing. It's your, it's by choice when you're a loner. So yeah, we're gonna get into detail about that. We're gonna talk about just the importance of being alone. It's gonna be a good video. Before I start the video, please watch the entire video. And if you like the video, subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this, just content about life and various topics. Let's get it. Yeah, we must realize you know, being alone is not a bad thing at all. It's not. And I actually recommend you do this. If you want to find out who, who your true friends are, take about a month or two off of not communicating with anybody. Just focus on a goal or, you know, put your energy somewhere else and just take about a month or two off and see who, see what friends end up calling you, checking up on you. See who check up on you. And if you have friends that check up on you, you know, just to genuinely see how you're doing, those are the friends you need to keep in your corner. So by you just being alone and taking time off to, you know, focus on, you know, a purpose or a goal, you get to find out who's truly in your corner. Because if you just cut off communication for about a month or two, your friends know you're not dead, so they, go, they should at least hit you up to see, see what's going on. So yeah, do that. Take about a month or two off. And just, you know, have a goal in mind and just, and just go for that, just strive for that and see, see what friends hit you up. And those are the friends that, you know, genuinely care for you that want to see what you've been up to, how you've been doing. You know, because usually we disappear when we go and get in relationships. So they will automatically assume that. Like, oh, either you got a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or something like that. That's when, that's when you usually disappear out of nowhere <laughs> when you're in a relationship. But just, you know, find something that you're truly passionate about and just Take a month or two off and see what friends hit you up. Guarantee you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. But yeah, be having that alone time and just, and I recommend this for everyone. We we all at least need a, like a year to ourselves. We all need just a year to ourselves where we really find out what we're passionate about in life what's our what our true interests are and just to you know find out our our real purpose because believe it or not when you're around a lot of people and you have a lot of voices around you it can sway your decisions it can sway your you know your ideas and things like that you'll you'll go back and forth with yourself because sometimes you don't need to hear any voices but the voice in your head. That's the only voice you need to hear. It's the voice in your head. So, you got to separate sometimes, like I say, to elevate. You got to separate to elevate. Because a lot of times we'll have a brilliant idea but then somebody could, you know, put a bug in our ear that'll change our whole attitude or our whole, you know, drive towards what we wanted to do. Yeah, that's that's critical. I, I always felt like you just need that that time to yourself to really, you know, like I said, find out what you're truly capable of. See if you can really pull your own weight. We're not going to always have somebody in our corner, you know, somebody to fall back on. 
So we all need to go through that period of just, you know, carrying our own weight. And just being responsible. We all need that time. That's like a growth period. Because you know if you can take care of yourself, you can be responsible, then you won't have, you know, trouble when you have a partner, you know, because you know with or without them, you're gonna be fine. So you won't put as much pressure on them. You won't put as much pressure on them because you're used to carrying your own weight anyway. So that's why you always want to get used to just being responsible and take taking care of your, you know, yourself first and just going through life making your own decisions because when it's time to partner up, you already know yourself. You know, you know what you're truly capable of and you won't put as much pressure and as much weight on, you know, your partner. So it's a lot of it's a lot that come out of, you know, just being alone and just growing up and maturing. But a lot of people are scared to be alone because they think it's a bad thing. They think when you're alone, you don't have any friends. And that could be the case if you're lonely. Like I said, if you're lonely, but when you're a loner, it's by choice. It's by choice. Someone who has tunnel vision, they'll usually be like a loner. When you have tunnel vision and you're, you, you're focused on something, you become a loner because everybody won't be able to see your vision. They won't know why you're so passionate. So anybody that really becomes successful and really start hitting their goals and you know hitting their stride in life, you have to become a loner at some point because you have to drop all dead weight and just go for it. So don't ever think being alone, you know, is a bad thing. That's the time to really, you know, have those one-on-ones with yourself and really look in the mirror and know, okay, this is how I'm gonna attack life. This is how I'm gonna go about things. So, that's what I wanted to talk about today, the importance of being alone, and it's not a bad thing, so. Let me know what y'all think. You know, I had to come with some fire to start off the week. You know, I can't stop. I keep it going, keep it rolling. I dropped a sports basketball video earlier. If you're in the sports, check that out. Most electrified players in the NBA, so check that out. Just dropped that today, too, so. You know, I can't stop. I keep it coming, I keep it going. Knock another one out with it. Coming back with another one. Comment, like, subscribe. Bow, bow, bow. Let's get it.